The Earth is estimated to be about 4.54 billion years old. It has gone through many changes over its long history. It is difficult to say exactly what the Earth was like millions of years ago, as the conditions on the planet have changed significantly over time. However, we can make some educated guesses based on the available evidence. Our quest as humans to discover what lies beneath our past doesn't end, so we continuously drive towards unlocking the secrets of our world. Until now, the scientific understanding of Earth's ancient biological life forms was greatly built on the oldest environmental DNA available, which was taken from a woolly mammoth that roamed in the Siberian tundra around 1 million years ago. But scientists have made a groundbreaking discovery in Greenland, where they have dug up DNA that is over 2 million years old. This DNA was found in sediments in a region called Perryland, located in the northernmost part of Greenland. This is the oldest DNA ever extracted from sediments from the Ice Age. This discovery has revealed shocking insights into what life was like 2 million years ago at the northern tip of Greenland. It has given us a glimpse into a past that has previously been lost to history and it has the potential to shed light on the evolution of life on Earth. Greenland as we know it today is a land of rugged mountains, glaciers, and a vast ice sheet that covers 80% of the island. Its climate is cold and harsh with long dark winters and short cool summers. However, research has shown that this was not always the case. Two million years ago, Greenland had a much warmer climate with average annual temperatures that were 11 to 19 degrees Celsius higher than they are today. This made it possible for a wide range of plants and animals to thrive on the island, including hares, lemmings, and many other species. The northern tip of Greenland was as lush and lively as the country's name would lead you to believe. To uncover this information, researchers studied 41 tiny samples of DNA that were extracted from sediments in Perryland. These samples were only a few millions of a millimeter long, but they contained an invaluable amount of information about the ancient life that once flourished in this region. One of the most unexpected findings was the presence of reindeer and mastodons, animals that were thought to have never lived in Greenland or even existed at the time. Paleontologists were particularly shocked by the presence of reindeer as these animals should not have been able to survive in the harsh climate of Greenland. Mastodons, on the other hand, were massive Ice Age mammals that were similar in size and characteristics to modern-day elephants. While these animals are known to have lived in North and Central America, it was thought that they never made their way to Greenland. In addition to this unexpected species, the researchers also found evidence of a unique ecosystem that no longer exists on Earth. There's nowhere in the world you find this ecosystem which is a mixture between Arctic organisms and temperate organisms. This ecosystem was a mix of Arctic and temperate species and it was characterized by a mix of poplar, spruce and yew trees that do not typically grow in such northern latitudes. The discovery of a 2 million year old DNA in Greenland has significant implications for the study of evolution and the history of life on Earth. The genetic sequences of these ancient animals could potentially reveal adaptations that could help Arctic species survive today's human-caused climate change. I would say now we have a genetic roadmap, right? We have a genetic, it's the building blocks of life. We have a genetic roadmap where we can find out how did these organisms back in time adapt to global warming. Moreover, this discovery has raised the possibility that extremely old DNA could be preserved in other parts of the world, waiting to be discovered. This could provide us with the incredible new insights into the evolution of different groups of organisms, the changing of environments in which they live, and the ways in which they interacted with each other. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing stories.